Good afternoon. My name is Thoy Warren, the President and CEO of the Babcock Center. Each year, the board is tasked with determining the subject of the Christmas ornament. It is a difficult decision as Columbia is a city with many beautiful historic sites. With that said, the Babcock Center Foundation is proud to unveil the 2021 official city ornament depicting the Big Apple. The Big Apple, built in 1915, was originally the House of Peace, Beth Shalom, synagogue. Its interior architecture, including a notable recessed dome and a balcony, reflects the original function. The structure gained its greatest notoriety when used as an African-American nightclub in the 1930s and became known as the Big Apple Club. The dance known as the Big Apple originated here and spread across the country. Some historians say it was the third most popular dance craze in history of the United States. Swings dancers throughout the world still dance the Big Apple and honor its history and creative legacy. In, in the 1980s, the Big Apple was moved from its original location at 1318 Park Street to the corner of Hampton and Park Street. Today, the Big Apple continues to be rented for events such as weddings, parties, concerts, and meetings. The Big Apple is listed in the National Registry as the House of Peace Synagogue. Proceeds from the ornament sales will benefit the Babcock Center Foundation. Funds from the ornament sales are used to enhance the lives of people with lifelong disabilities in a variety of ways, such as providing, uh, providing medical assistance and care not covered by their insurances, as well as providing for the amenities of life that we all take for granted such as clothing, bedroom and home furnishing, and resources for recreational and social activities. All of these make it possible for the Babcock Center to achieve its mission to empower people with lifelong disabilities while they enjoy life by promoting abilities and respecting their choice. So on behalf of the foundation and the board of directors, I would like to thank all of you of our lower collectors who are out there who have supported this project each year since 1993. It is very heartwarming to see the outpouring of support from the community at the holiday season. The con contributions help us to achieve our mission and make our positive impacts on the lives of people with lifelong disabilities. Finally, the ornaments are $18 a piece and may be purchased at the Columbia's Visitor Center or by calling our foundation at the Babcock Center at 803-799-1970. You may also purchase online at www.babcockcenter.org. So it's my pleasure to present the official Christmas ornament for 2021 to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, who has been supporting us throughout his tenure here as mayor. And um, we, we know that it's his last time, so we want to thank him for all that he has done to support people at the Babcock Center and people with lifelong disabilities. It's wonderful uh, to be here with you all. And I'm going to read this proclamation that has very small uh, print, I might add. Uh, those of you who might not realize I've been doing this since 2010, but I don't have 2010 eyes anymore. Uh, uh, whereas each year the Babcock Center Foundation Board is tasked with determining the subject of the Christmas ornament, whereas the Big Apple built in 1915 was originally the House of Peace, Beth Shalom Synagogue. Its interior architecture, including a notable recessed dome and a balcony, reflect its original function. Whereas the structure gained its greatest notoriety when used as an African-American nightclub in the 1930s became known as the Big Apple Club. The dance known as the Big Apple originated here and spread across the country. Some historians say it was the third most popular dance craze in the history of the U.S. Swing dancers throughout the world still dance the Big Apple and honor its history and creative legacy, whereas in the 1980s, the Big Apple was moved from its original location at 19, 1318 Park Street to the corner of Hampton and Park Streets. Today, the Big Apple continues to be rented for events such as weddings, parties, concerts, and meetings, whereas the Big Apple is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. And now, therefore, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, Mayor of the City of Columbia, uh, along with my fellow members of Columbia City Council, do hereby proclaim the Big Apple to be the 2021 official city ornament in the city of Columbia. It really is an, an, an honor, I think, uh, pretty amazing that as we begin uh, the, uh, as we begin Hanukkah, begin Hanukkah uh, that we would recognize uh, the Big Apple. It, it is uh, one of the many places 
in this community that I think speaks to the amazing spirit of inclusion that defines Columbia, uh, the spirit uh, that um, Senator John Gervais spoke of in 1786. It's a spirit that, that allows a, a, a house of peace, a synagogue, uh, uh, built by the people of the house of, uh, of David to eventually become uh, a, a place where African Americans lived, worked, played, and, 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 and prospered in one of our most historic districts, the Washington District. It's a place that allows us that, to gather in this, this beautiful restored uh, city hall just uh, a few hours ago as we talked about major infrastructure investments and talk about the nearly $100 million dedicated to rebuilding the Columbia Canal built by the blood, sweat, and, and tears of Irish indentured servants. We are Columbia. We're a Columbia in, in which those of us uh, who come to work in this building every day or if we're differently able citizens who, who work and who, who are supported by this wonderful Babcock Center, each and every one of us has the opportunity to contribute to the whole of our lives in, in this country. We have an opportunity to do great things with the, with the powers and ability that God gives each and every one of us, but we are stronger, we are strongest when we come together and support good causes. Uh, this has been uh, supporting the Babcock Center and, the, and uh, through purchasing uh, this ornament and supporting the purchase of this ornament every single year has been one of the high points of my tenure uh, here uh, at the City of Columbia over the last nearly 12 uh, years. Uh, my friend Josh Cruz just asked me in an in interview what, what, what my legacy might be and so often we, we think of, of the physical structures that um, men like to look back at and women like to look back at at stadiums and water sewer infrastructures and buildings and the like. And the reality is that the, the greatest contribution that we can often leave, I believe, is, um, is to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with God, to bring people together, to make sure that each and every one of us realizes that we are only as strong as we are our brothers and sisters keeper. This speaks to that. And um, it's an honor, Thoid, uh, to come together with you and your wonderful team at the Babcock Center to accept this on behalf of the people of Columbia, um, to make a commitment for all future mayors. I know Mayor Rickerman will be very excited about uh, this um, uh, event every single year, and hopefully for another um, uh, 30 years or so or more, uh, we'll be able to do this uh, in advancement of the goals and vision and mission of the Babcock Center and the people of Columbia. May God bless you and keep you. Thank you.